Hey YouTubers, welcome back. Uh, so today we're gonna try to perform an oil change and we've already encountered a problem uh, and that's that this pan will not come off. Since I got the new IPD gasket, uh, because you know, oil was like leaking down the sides, I cannot get this off for the life of me. So I'll be pouring oil through the dipstick hole right here. I took out the dipstick just to show you that the oil is quite dirty and it's definitely been uh, thousands of miles since I changed this and also uh, a year almost <laughs> so it hasn't been quite 5,000 miles this is synthetic but it has been more than a year and I'd like to change it before winter comes because I like to have some fresh oil in there uh, I recommend these uh, tube of towels they don't endorse me or anything obviously I just recommend them because uh, they clean your hands well if you're going to be working with oil and it's going to get messy this I believe is e a one inch that's what I was read on the forums would be big enough to handle my um, oil pan. Remember lefty loosey, righty tidy. This one is like a slight extension thing. I'm trying to get it out with one hand. Because <clears throat> if you can't get out of uh, some kind of nut or something, usually the reason is because you don't have enough leverage. I'm hoping this leverage will be enough. If not, then <clears throat> I'll be removing oil the old the uh, way I've done before, which is with my little uh, handy vac or whatever it's called. And then I'll be pulling the old oil out of the pan through the... Uh, through a suction, <clears throat> uh, it's a manual suction thing, if I can't get it out the traditional way. I'd rather get it out this way. Right now the engine is cold. Okay, so if you can see now, you see that red um, thing protruding and under it there's a little bolt uh, about in the middle of the screen now and it's kind of rusting off. That's it, that's what we want to get at and we want to get it off and put the pan under and have the oil port. I'm not going to be unfortunately able to film this because then I have only one hand and uh, as tight space as it is. I'll go put the parking brake on and get to it. Uh, oil drained pretty much. I don't know if you can see it's a tiny bit still coming out right there in the middle. Um, it's draining. I did spill a little bit. I'm gonna collect that with some paper towels and stuff and clean it up. I have a little magnet here. These things are useless. Um, I was ordering stuff off of IPD and I, I, got, I got one of these, but in all reality, I, I think they're pretty useless. Don't waste your money on these. The filter captures what it captures. From every, from all the videos I've seen online and the research I've done, the, the, these magnets are pretty useless. You could slap one on if you already have one. Here's my, uh, the one inch, by the way, worked perfectly. Here's my um, old one. You can see all these little deposits are actually, uh, this is, this is, a, this is um, one of those bolts, oil bolts with, um, uh, what do you call it? with a copper washer, but also with a magnet in here. And let's clean out the magnet right now and see how many flakes and stuff it's captured. Yeah, you could see it's collected a lot of like little shavings probably. They're very fine. Mostly I think it's just dirty oil with like old little bits. This is an old engine, right? You know, you're gonna have some little shavings. I didn't see, any, I didn't see big ones uh, to be concerned about. The filter is supposed to catch those. This is kind of just at the bottom of the oil pan if there's something, you know, excess. Yeah, it costs just as much as a new regular one costs. So I was like, why not? I'll just get it and <laughs> what's the difference, right? Um, I could have put a new one on there, but I didn't order one this time. So I'm just going to reuse this one. And uh, I'm going to try to get that, uh, that to get the old one off. Make sure that this gasket is off and then what you do is pour a little oil inside you don't have to fill this thing up because you don't want to spill depending on your if you obviously if you're starting a filter like this don't pull, pull pour any oil in it but uh what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna we just wet it inside so the engine doesn't dry start but most importantly put a little bit of oil on this gasket so when you're putting it on um there's a nice barrier so that you can take off the old one our oil is just about done yep no more oil dripping so let's get to uh, trying to remove the oil filter. Oh, and look at that. Um, pretty, it came right off. I twisted it right off very easily. Uh, now there's a bit of a tip, <clears throat> which I've heard from some mechanics, is make sure you uh, put an old rag in there under the filter. Because no matter how much oil you've removed, when you take this filter off, some tends to get this filter out of here. 
Oop, I don't want to tilt it. But here we have our old um, oil uh, gasket. So we know it's not stuck on there. That's great. Um, we're going to clean that surface before. And you can see the oil rag will catch any excess oil that drips down. Pro little tip <laughs> just learned. Um, if you're gonna if you're gonna do this, make sure these two filters match up. This one for me is a little bigger, so I put it in there and check to see if it would fit. Make sure you do that too. Even though I bought this one on my model, this one seems to be taller, slight, even though slightly. But you want to check that it fits uh, before you try to install it. Um, so I'm gonna pour a little bit in there. Doesn't have to be crazy. Good enough. Get a little oil and just spread it on the rubber. Now here comes the uh, bit of a tricky part because you've obviously gotten oil in there already, right? Uh, in the on the filter, so you want to like kind of squeeze it through like that, like a cup though. Sorry if I cover that up. Just pull the rag out as you're screwing this in. I just hand tighten this thing. I don't use any tools, nothing like that. I get it snug. And that's it. And this, this filter is for this car, so I don't see why it would. But the fact that it's a little longer makes me uncomfortable. I would go with the shorter ones. Made in Austria, that one's a Bosch. Probably made in uh, Brazil, that's where they make this stuff. Uh, Bosch makes a lot of this stuff in Brazil now. And it's a little shorter. I go for this one. It's the 14W05, if that's the code of it. I didn't have another one, so I just quickly coated this uh, back end with zinc uh, spray paint. That's to keep it from rusting uh, too badly, because I don't want it to rust over winter and stuff. Don't forget your copper washer, like that. You're not, you're not supposed to reuse these either. <laughs> so yeah, don't, don't, don't do like I'm doing. Do it better. Uh, get a new copper washer and a new plug and uh, that's why I'm making this video so you guys can learn from my mistakes and also not repeat them and uh, you're gonna put this in and then just just hand tighten it really and uh, some people say hand tighten and then half a turn with the wrench so I think that's what I'm gonna recommend but don't over do whatever you do don't over tighten and don't strip the bolt it's very easy to do that and now we're gonna dig around in there for like metal shavings And then we're gonna take a look. Uh, I don't see any metal shavings on it. So, <clears throat> with a clean rag that was not slippery and uh, a lot of uh, effort, I got this one off. This is a, a nice thing to get off because you wanna see and inspect uh, the inside. Uh, obviously, you're not gonna see much here, but you wanna see here if there's a milky substance or anything like that. That's an indication of your coolant uh, leaking into the system. Yeah, everything looks healthy here, and we can also pour oil through here. I recommend checking the uh, fluid often because it sucks when you overfill because then you either have to get the drain plug out or you have to get your suction tool and suck gasoline out. I'm not gasoline, oil out. That's a pain in the ass. You want to stay away from having to do that. All right, so I obviously didn't have enough oil in the big one because I've used it before. So I got another additional little one and another big one and another little one. And uh, we're gonna check the oil level now. Just letting that drain in there. Um, let's see if we can pull that out and see where it's at. Yeah, it's towards, I don't know if you can tell in this. Yeah, it's towards the uh, higher end. So, we're done with that. I'm sure you wanna hear her start up. Not that that's that big a deal, but make sure we got oil on this gasket so that we can open it a lot easier next time it's a it's a it's just a really thick gasket so it creates a good seal and you want that because you don't want to be looking for ghost oil leaks there's enough in an old car anyway I suspect the head leaks uh, I find oil up here like right here around here and um, but you know what, I check the oil level regularly and I don't notice a consumption or decrease in oil. Why don't we start her up? Yeah, how she sounds with the new oil. Probably no different. <laughs> but after that, we will check for leaks. There we go. Oh, 
parking brake is on. That's good. Oil gauge, gas gauge, whatever, rising. All right, let's listen in. She sounds pretty good. Um, that belt should not be doing that. I've been struggling with that. I think it's the, there's like two more old, um, I changed out three of these. I think there's like one more old one that I didn't get to that uh, is causing kind of a, like a misalignment of the, which stinks. But actually when the engine war gets warm, that stops the little vibration you see in the belt. So it could be, I don't know, a function of a cold engine or something. It's got fluid in there. <laughs> and it's new, so you can't, it's very hard to read it because it's fresh oil. So you can't, it's hard to read the, where on the line it is exactly. But the engine's running pretty well, I'd say. The engine's not even warm probably yet. So, yeah, and that was replaced to make the AC work. That's the uh, sensor for the thing. There's a there's a separate video on that. If I didn't publish it yet, it will be coming out. From cold to just starting to get warm. Okay, well, the engine is running. It's now warm. We've stopped the engine. And we're going to check the oil. And that looks like a pretty good level to me. Uh, if you enjoyed my video, please subscribe and uh, comment and like on the video because that's what keeps me going. And also, don't get one of these oil pans. Get the ones where it has a drain and then like a little like tip at the end so you can drain it inside one of these. Because otherwise, even with a big funnel, it's a mess. Stay away from these. They suck. <laughs> anyway, please like and subscribe and uh, see you in my next video.